Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode of our interviews. Today I have someone who wowed me on the internet. I found this Elbruni speaking guy like a parrot and I got quite drawn to it and even more interesting the fact that she didn't grow up here. Uh, stick and stay, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, don't miss a thing. And welcome back. As I said, I have with me the beautiful Edna, Edna Karen. Yes. Edna, so tell us a bit about yourself because it's not common that we find someone who looks like you speak Ga so well. I mean, I'm going to speak Ga with you. My guy is like, you know, 100, but uh, we'll get into it. But before that, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, like you said, my name is Edna Karen. Um, I grew up in Canada. Um, I was raised there, I went to school there. I do um, visit Ghana a lot because my mom is Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. um, so we go back and forth. Um, I have family and relatives that I come to visit here. And I just, I just love like, knowing that I'm, I'm from two cultures and mm -hmm. being able to embrace Ghanaian culture, eat the food, you know, speak the language. Um, these are all things that, that make me who I am. So your mom is full Ghanaian? She's also mixed. She's mixed. She's okay. mixed, but she grew up here. She went to school here. Oh, good. Um, and and then later on, my dad came to work in Ghana, and then they met, and then obviously they ended up having me over there. Are you the only child? No, I'm the middle child between three. Okay. Oh, uh, my younger brother and me uh, both speak the language very, very fluent. Well. Yeah. So I mean, living outside of Ghana, how were you able to sort of keep it going and speak it so well? Well, my mom, I give her full credit. She'll never mm -hmm. accept it, but I give her full credit because, you know, a lot of Ghanaians that live outside, they don't like speaking the local language mm -hmm. over there. And so when we're at home, we have to speak it with her. She doesn't speak English. She speaks Ga, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. So when, whether she's giving us directions or advice or whatever it is, she speaks Ga. And then when we have to talk to my dad, then we speak English. Oh. So then it was just the balance. My mom says I mixed it, that I used to mix English and Ga mm -hmm. together. Great and then, enough. yeah... Um, in preschool too, so they don't understand what I'm saying. So I think I got to about one or two, and I was able to differentiate both of them, and then now it's stuck. Good. Well, many, many, I may, I may you, 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 Well, uh, how you grew up? Mm. Tell me that again in Ghan. Oh, many, da, you want me a cafe, you are Ghanaian. It will be like <laughs> Good, good. So what's your favorite Ghana food? I know you guys like food, so oh. which is your favorite? My favorite favorite is uh, red red. So oh. I think they call it goma too or something. So it's fried plantain. Uh, gobe. Gobe. Okay. Yeah. So it's fried plantain and beans. and beans. So that's like my favorite. I can eat that all day, every day. Um, but I really like uh, king king trophy. Like that's mm -hmm. the first thing I ask for when I get down from the plane <laughs> when I arrive. Um, I really like banku and okra stew. And then if for lunch, if I don't have anything, I have fufu and granola soup. Can you cook any of these? I cook all the soups. It's just the actual like carbohydrate that goes with that's it. That's difficult. Yeah. And, uh, so. I mean, that's staring and all of that. Oh, yeah. It's quite, it's quite <laughs> a chore. So I'm sure uh, you get a lot of reaction of surprise, shock when uh, you speak. Uh, yeah. How has it been? What has been one of your most memorable? Um, so, so far, there was one person that um, literally, they la first of all, they were so shocked that their jaw was on the ground. And then they're like, oh, you're the eighth wonder of the world. And then just <laughs> ran off. And I just, I just thought that was hilarious. Good, um, good. Yeah. And I mean, earlier on, when you came in, we tr I tried to speak down with you. You said something about us trying, because you read that even here in Accra, people are speaking less, less of Ga and more Chi. Yeah. And so I'm sure people, particularly the Ga people, you, you would be the eighth wonder of the world to them <laughs> because the language in the capital is increasingly diminishing. Mm -hmm. And so to have you sort of st stay and speak it, 
it's quite refreshing. Uh, so what do you do uh, in Canada uh, as well? So in Canada, I'm a store manager. Um, I manage this Australian fashion boutique for women. Mm -hmm. um, and they just bring like really fresh styles, really new stuff. And um, I just really enjoy engaging with people and then showing them stuff and being able to like dress people up and, and everything. So if you were to style me up, what would you, <laughs> what would you do to give me that new look? Um, I think you need like a nice hat. I think what you're wearing is okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe some different shoes, shoes, but you know, just a small hat Hats to go with. To go yeah. With good, good, good. And I also see pictures of you as some footballers. Like you, you, you are quite close to footballers. Yeah. Do you love football to begin with? I do. Well, my whole family, we used to be um, hardcore Chelsea fans because mm -hmm. obviously SCN was playing for there mm -hmm. for a long time. Um, and when the Black Stars first went to the World Cup, we actually went. I've actually gone to every World Cup the Black Stars have gone I've to so far. To oh, good. Um, so we actually met them in 06. We didn't know that we were going to meet them in Nuremberg. So my mom booked the same hotel as, as them. And we came out of our room and then Michael Essien was coming from an interview. And that's oh, how good. we met. And then we walked into the elevator and the whole Black Stars team was in the elevator. And we're like, oh, what's going on? So when we started speaking guy and everything, they were also shocked. They're like, no, we got to be friends with you guys. So mm -hmm. um, a, lot of, a lot of them are, a lot of the senior players are, the ones that have like passed already they mm -hmm. they're really good friends of ours and we keep in touch of the whole family yeah oh, cool. and you said you used to be chelsea does that mean that a fan of chelsea does that mean you, you you're no longer a fan since acn left oh no <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i think when they won the champions league this past weekend i was watching the you're game still and, happy. um yeah i was i was really happy that they won um but it's just that you know um, growing up, you know, especially when you go through exams and work and all that, you have mm -hmm. less time to mm -hmm. obviously spend watching football and stuff. So okay. that's why it's kind of diminished a little bit, but obviously always at heart. Still okay. uh, and one thing I've noticed you also like, oh, you, it's a hobby, is singing. Yes. How did it start for you? I've been singing since I was a child. I think I didn't really um, take it seriously till my mom kind of mentioned it to me. She's like, oh, you sing beautifully, like you should take it more serious. But you know, sometimes when your parents tell you to do something, you're not too much sure. of a fan. Mm. Um, so I sing occasionally, but I didn't start taking it seriously till maybe, uh, maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I started learning the keyboard again because I learned as a kid and I just redid that and I started posting um, videos. And um, one of the main worship leaders at my church contacted me. She's like, no, you can't hide this gift. You need to bring it out. So I joined the worship team at my church and then I became the worship leader for our campus ministry, which is Campus Vibe Movement. And I started doing leading worship there, and so far, so good. So, Well, somebody just told me in the comment section that I should let you sing. <laughs> <laughs> so let us worship. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> worship leader. Take, it, take us to the spirit. Yeah, take us in. Oh, my goodness. Tara, you are enough. Tara, you are enough, and I will be content in every circumstance. Tara, you are enough. You sing just like me. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> and I've come across a picture of you with... Uh, Joe Metal, how did that happen? What was the story behind it? Um, Joe Metal actually came to do a conference in Vancouver. That's where I'm from. And so he came to my church and we were doing a women's conference. And he was there and one of my friends was like, I have to go and see him. And I was like, why? He's like, oh, Joe Metal's a guy, you know, uh, you can speak guy, uh, it would be great. And mm -hmm. then she pulled me along and went to go introduce me. And, and since then we've been buddies that since is then. Good, so he's good. very close to my family. Good, good, yeah. good. Now I think I, I should let you sing something in Ghana. <laughs> Hello, man, I know. <laughs> I just sing something in Ghana. Something in Ghana, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. Valencia was sheep on there. Yeah, to be honest with you, I've not heard the girl version yet. Really? Uh, this is my first time hearing it. No, so. I, yeah, I used to sing it as a kid. Okay, great. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been fantastic. You didn't give me your girl name. 
so I don't have a gun name, mm -hmm. um, but the locals I here. I have. Yeah, the locals here gave me Nasakli, so I just roll with that. I'm like, if nah, people exactly. ask my yeah my gun name, I'm like, okay, that's them. what it is. Fantastic. What should we expect from you? What are you? Uh, are you here for long? What What will you be doing? Well, I'm hoping I can stay. I'm just looking for a, mm -hmm. a job, you know, um, something to do with administration or anything to do with media. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really good at that stuff, and and I really enjoy doing it. Um, so, yeah, if I get a job, I'm looking to stay. If just I don't, uh, then I might have to go home. <laughs> and then you miss all the comic came out <laughs> Exactly. Good, good, good. Well, we wish you all the very best. It's been amazing uh, listening to your voice uh, and your ga. Sign us out to something in ga. Sign us out. <laughs> Come on, I said, now I'm subscribe to our, our channel. <laughs> and I'm going to subscribe to my channel. You know. <laughs> it's a wrap. See you same time next time. Bye-bye.